I got two tickets to paradise. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, this is your host, as always, We Neil on this channel. Uh, welcome back to Fallout 3 New Vegas. I, or not, not Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, let's just redo this whole video already, shouldn't I? Oh, well, screw it. We're just going to roll. We're going to roll with it. Um, <clears throat> so, sorry if I'm doing that a lot. Kind of, you know, <clears throat> clearing my throat and whatnot. Um, whoa, I just wrecked shit. Uh, what happened was I got sick over Christmas. You could probably tell by my voice, but uh, don't let it bug you. <laughs> Shit, I need to turn my volume down. It's like creaking in my ears. Creaking in my ears. All right, let's talk to Sunny. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? You wish. I'm gonna help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Damn. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Oh boy. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. So a lot of these are optional. Here's Stinky Pete hey, right here, so what can Easy Pete do for you? That's Stinky Pete to you. Uh here you got dynamite. Too dangerous. Only kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Damn it. See, and you need 25 explosives to, um, convince him. So, tough shit. Um, here's Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Uh, we're gonna need 25, whoa, I could probably take out the powder game press press if I had help, probably. So you need 25 speech to convince her. But, um, what I'm going to do, anything interesting going on? No. No. Yes. I'm sure. I want to buy, um, the meeting people might help. Wait a minute. How much was it? Yeah, that'll help. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to buy, uh, the book meeting people. As expensive as it is. We're also going to buy some pinion nuts. No, we're not. That's a joke. Don't get all up in there and whatnot. We might need that barter one, but I'm not sure. I don't think we do. Anyway, 30 caps. Do we have anything we could sell? I guess we could sell that anti-venom, but we might need it at some point. Um, bleak venom. I have no idea. I have no idea. I really don't need that canteen, but oh well. Fine, I'll pay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, there I go again. My throat. Okay. So let's use the um, book meeting people, which temporarily raises our speech. And while our speech is high, we're going to say you should help me take down the powder gang. Bolts, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out. But for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. <laughs> Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. Ugh. Okay. You take a sip from the trusty vault 13 canteen. 13 canteen. Here's the bar store. Or barter store, general store. Sorry, we're gonna need you barter. Must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. <laughs> um. 
I need supplies to help fight powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. A thousand caps. Oh, I do need that barter thing. Right. Never mind. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll see you later, buddy. I could go out uh, and fight some stuff to try to get some uh, try to get some uh, uh, stuff to sell to make more money to buy that book. <clears throat> but for now, I'm gonna go up to this hill, and we're gonna see what we can find up there. Hold on, I gotta scratch my ear. Okay, scratching, 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 scratching. Done. All right. Mm. Oh, I thought we crashed right there. I was about to say, uh, no, and then this whole LP would have gone down the drain. I would not be having it. I will not have this game crash like Fallout 3 did. Meeting people has worn off. Good Spring Cemetery. Need a shovel. Ow. Oh. Double dog damn. Hey, there's a snow globe. Found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has it some collectors will still pay dearly for them. Interesting. I've never found that before. Come back here. Okay. I guess this is the grave they dug me out of. I didn't leave like my shoes or anything or my underwear. Well, <clears throat> time to do as we do in real life and collect bottles and cans. Bottles and cans. Shake your hands. Shake your hands. And then we'll sell them. Keep out. You can see the New Vegas strip right there. It's actually pretty close. At least I think that's the New Vegas Strip. Is that the New Vegas Strip? Yeah, that's the New Vegas Strip. I think so. <clears throat> As you can see, the world map in this game is... Uh, well, it's somewhere in between uh, <clears throat> as big as Fallout 3 and not as big as Fallout 3. It's weird. It's like, uh, it's... I don't think it's as big. Because there's a whole lot more areas where you can't go, like, up in these mountains and stuff surrounding. Like, it's still considered a part of the map. But, like, uh... It, uh... It, you can't actually go there and there's nothing to find there, so... It's, like, artificial, uh, map size. But... Oh, well. There still is a ton to do in this game. And we're gonna have to talk about reputations and whatnot at some point. Because... Depending on what reputations you go towards, or what factions you decide to get friendly with, depends on what side quests you get in the game, and it all plays into each other. And if you go towards one faction, you lose the ability to do the side quests of another, so... Who knows? We'll see. Shut up! Feeling thirsty? Uh, show me what you have. I want to sell you some Benton cans. Oh, I forgot, uh, we don't have, um... Our barter isn't that great, so we're not going to get a whole lot for these. Does a tin can sell for more than a bent tin can? Uh, where's those things I got? I really don't need that machete, I don't think. But I'll keep it. Just in case. I want to go crazy. I picked up d bottles and cans, man. Oh, there we are. Well, I got a six caps. I'd say that's worth it. We're going to need Salesman Weekly. Now, you really don't... Oh, my goodness, lady. You really don't need... Um, <coughs> sorry. You really don't need all these uh, people to help you out. It just makes it easier, and I think you get experience independently for each one you are able to... Uh, Convince. Come back here, you son of a bitch. Before I steal the ammo from you that I need. Uh, sell them. You looking to buy some supplies? You have no idea. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Let them take over the town, then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. 
What do you have for Andy. sale? Does he have, um... Oh, the four of clubs. Mm, I don't think he has... Anything. <laughs> Fishing batteries. Yeah. Take it easy. Level up. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Ooh, you know what we could do? We could put all this into explosives and barely not have enough. So we'll never mind. Um, we're gonna put some in the lockpick, obviously, because we're gonna need that at some point. Um, I haven't really decided how I want to build my character yet, but um, I'm sure we'll slowly get uh, we'll slowly start to figure that out as we go. Confirmed Bachelor. In combat, you do 10% more damage against male opponents. Outside of combat, you sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. Ooh. Intense training. Obviously, the same thing as it was in Fallout 3. You get to add one to any special. Lady Killer. Uh, same thing as Confirmed Bachelor, but with girls. Rapid Reload. Makes all your weapon reloads 25% faster. No more. Normal. Retention. Bonus is granted by skill magazines. Last three times as long. Swift learner, which still is just as useless. Um. Oh God, this song. And I'm oh, okay. Sorry. Uh. I kind of want to go for rapid reload right now. Okay, Chet. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> hey, Chet. How's it going? Just sounds like that type of thing. Mojave Express Dropbox. Whoa. Holy shit, I do reload fast. Oh, I could have just gone in here and, like, sold all this Wonder Glue and whetstones. Empty Nuka Cola bottle. You don't see that much often. Or that often. Uh, okay. Who else do we need? We need Doc Mitchell's sorry ass. He's gonna be like, oh, well, I don't know. Sure. Actually, I think that's actually what he said. <laughs> He's got a baseball and an iron in his mailbox. Doc Mitchell, you need to think about your life a little bit. Because I don't know what you're planning on doing with a baseball and an iron. Where is he? Doc Mitchell. Oh, there you are. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? I'm hurt. I need to help, Doc. No. Town's going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Indeed. Well, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. They'll be using explosives. Do you have something for more serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. And we got two doctor's bags. Hehe, <laughs> see you later, Doc. And really, when you go through all this stuff, you're just getting supplies for yourself. It's not really, you know, <laughs> anything, you know, that you're going to be using, but, you know. I feel like I should wear this leather armor just for the damage resistance. But then I could just wear an armored vault 13 jumpsuit, but I lose the melee weapon and the two to speech. I don't know. I'll wear this for now. How cool we look. <laughs> we still look just as retarded as the day we were born. Uh, okay, Ringo, you son of a bitch. The only one we haven't convinced is Stinky Pete, and I don't think we're going to be able to get Stinky Pete. Because he's stinky, and he's Pete, you know. So we're going to have to just go back to Ringo, and we're going to have to talk to his story, his story ass. Yeah, he's going to ask us to play Caravan. I'm going to tell him to kindly shove it up his ass. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right. Lara! I hope. Time to look alive. The power Good lord, you got here fast. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. <laughs> six people, I'll come on. Store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. I don't think you realize, but I was given this, uh, 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 grenade rifle when I was born, and it's been in my family for so long, I'm just gonna blast the ass to oblivion. 
Is that one of them? No. That's the townsperson who's helping us. Sweet. Oh, you guys are so fast. Uh, hold on, let me catch up. <sighs> Woo! Okay. They're all out there. Two of them are shirtless, so they're obviously the ones who are going to be dying first. I think they're badasses or something. Okay, that didn't go nearly as far as I thought it was going to. Shit! He's coming at me with a bat! <laughs> this is so ridiculous to be going into this with a grenade launcher. What about a throwing spear? You son of a beach, Joe Cobb! You're going down! Ugh! <laughs> Direct hit! Double prizes! Okay. Yep, reputation. Liked. Enough news of your good works has been passed around that people like you. Shunned by the powder gangers. You've left a poor impression on the community and may be shunned as a result. Yep, we killed some powder gangers. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. I'll be sure to, Ringo. Um, you got a magnum on you, dude. I am taking that shit. Powder King or guard armor. Uh, and a stealth boy. A single shotgun. Definitely gonna take that. Take your 20 gauge rounds. I kinda want your Desperado cowboy hat. I'm just telling you. I kinda wanna put on that cowboy hat. Uh, yeah. Probably looks stupid. Anyway. Lightweight leather armor. What does that look like? Oh god. My sleeves. Where'd my sleeves go? Well, I look cool, except I got this big ass spear sticking out of me. I mean, I look as cool as I can get right now. My name's Clint. Clint Eastwood. What kind of sissy name is that? Uh. Okay. All in all, we did good. Did anyone die who I don't care about? Because I would hate for that to happen. Uh, just a chunk of that dude's leg. Mm, what do you have? A single bottle cap. Dude, you got like... Oh, well, he has dynamite around him, but I can't take it. That makes no sense. Uh, pre or baseball hat. Another single shotgun. I will definitely take that. All these single shotguns. Repair into each other. Give us a t t double shotgun. So what? That's it. Everyone's just like fine and dandy. World ended. Tumbleweed blocking my path. I guess so. Evening. Ringo, you son of a bitch! You said you're gonna leave town. Wait a minute. Where is everyone? Oh, Trudy. Oh, you fuck! Fucking dog. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. I need to get to Pram. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Right. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay. Stick to the highway. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Um. Okay. Be careful out there. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of this place. Whoa, I just sent that tumbleweed flying. You see that stinky Pete? He doesn't even know. He's half blind in one eye. You can't tell. It's like, what happened? Hoo <laughs> Um, so, yeah. As we venture out into the world, we are headed for, uh, Prim. Where's Prim? Oh, boy. They went that away. Find the man who tried to kill you. You know. All these are DLC, isn't it? Yeah. And there's our next stop, Prim. Might as well start walking. But before we start walking, we have to end this episode. I'm Christopher Walken, and I play video games. Anyway. Uh, 
Let's climb on this rock. Call it a day. Hope I don't get attacked. I think Prim is that town right there. Yeah, has a roller coaster and whatnot. So, next time on Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, we will go to Prim and discover what lies there. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode. This has been your host, as always, Wee Neil. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.